Hi, this is Ralph Tiernan with the Flies Thai Irish Pub. We're going to be doing the black bean cakes from our brunch menu today and deconstruct it and turn it into a lunch item, a sandwich, a sandwich. I hope you enjoy. Today we'll be doing a, a recipe from our uh, brunch menu at Flies Thai. The uh, chocolate chip, chili and bean cake over a cucumber dill sauce with a corn and avocado salsa. But I'll show you a few hints in between so that you could uh, maybe throw two other dishes in deconstructing the dish that we're going to do tonight. First off, we're going to start with our cucumber dill sauce. You want to take yourself a nice hearty cucumber, peel off the uh, outsides. After we get the cucumber started, we're going to drop some salmon into the oven. Let that bake away and come back and make ourselves a sandwich with the same, same uh, cucumber dill sauce. So, take your cucumber, take her in half. With the uh, spoon, de-seed the middle and have yourself a nice empty cucumber. We're gonna save the other half, maybe later we'll decide to make it chunky or not. You can always add more cucumber, but you can never take it out. Take our cucumber down, hold off from the pan. All right, next we're gonna need sour cream, a little salt and pepper. Get some sour cream for you. It's how sour you want it, it's how much sour cream you put in. And of course, some fresh dill. You can use a, a canned dill, or sorry, not a canned dill, but a bottled dill. Anything from a, a grocery store. Just make sure you rub it before you use it. Uh, takes the freshness out, gets the oils working. You know what, while we're doing this, let me throw the salmon on. I've already got a nice hot pan. I want to sear the top of the salmon and then rest it on top of the uh, skin to keep all the juices in. A little salt and pepper, a little long distance seasoning. That's just backing up, throw it longer. Come back to that. Dill's fairly easy to take off the, the stems. You just don't want to be using too thick, of the, too thick a part of the stem. It's just too bitter. Little salt and pepper, a little lemon. It's easier to squeeze if you roll it first. Put your hand beneath it if you want to catch the seeds. We'll hand blend this. Leave it in the fridge, let it cool down. Let this chill. Now let's start on our bean cakes. Now I've taken uh, any sort of semi-sweet chocolate you get from the baking section of a grocery store. While the beans are wet, just sprinkle it across. It'll stick to the beans. Again, while it's wet, try and get all the beans covered with a little bit of chili. A little salt and pepper. And we want a rough mash to this. You want to keep some whole beans, and you want to have some of them into a bit of a paste. Add an egg to tighten. The egg's going to hold everything together. A little bit of flour. Got a hot pan going. Just gonna sear both sides of the bean cake, toss it in the oven, let the egg get cooked. All right, while we're waiting on everything else to get cooked, we're making a corn and avocado salsa. You can use either canned corn or a roasted corn. I'm gonna show you a quick trick for barbecues to make a, a handheld corn corn on the cob. I'm going to shuck it for you real quick. Take it from the top down. Tie yourself a little bow. And 
before the barbecue, you could boil these, leave them be, and then later on roast them on the barbecue, but you got it handheld. No more of those little tiny forks. So let's start on our salsa. Shave the corn off. A little diced tomato. A little cilantro. Same thing with cilantro and dill. Just stay away from the stems. Now you're gonna add garlic to this. Depends on how much, uh, how strong you want it. Salt and pepper. Some balsamic vinegar. Olive oil. And toss. And we'll let that chill. Nice firm avocado, a little light to the touch. You'll know it's right. I'm going to start poaching up two eggs. I know you promised you two, but I'm not going back there to get another egg. We'll make it with one. Take our cucumber dill, paint the bottom of the plate. This is fairly chunky. You can keep blending, make it smoother and smoother. And also, it, after it marinates, the next day, it's much nicer. Use a bean cake off to the side. Corn avocado salsa. I separate the avocado just as a garnish to keep on top. A little sprig of dill. The breakfast for a vegetarian. Now let's go back to the salmon. Put my salmon off to the side. But I still have a hot pan. I'll throw a couple of bean sprouts on it. Heat them up. A little light lettuce, a little salt, a little pepper, bean sprouts. And the cucumber dill works well on salmon also. Salmon and cucumber dill sandwich. And that's it.